Um, the 1015 agenda has extramural CFS research at NIH. I, I'm going to lead into that with the report from the NIH uh, ex officio member, Eleanor. To speak, they'll pick you up. I don't really have a formal report because I think Dennis is going to give a rundown of what we've done over the years to, as he introduces our wonderful program assistance. But I'd like to make some reflections because this is my last meeting here. And I've been a member of this group since it first started um, through all of the executive secretaries and the different, <laughs> and the different uh, secretaries of health and human services and so on. And I've, I've enjoyed working with you all. And I think we can all agree that NIH has been very responsive to all of your suggestions. In fact, sometimes we anticipated them before you made them. Um, I'm thinking particularly about our muting on neuroimmune mechanisms that explained and led to research that explained a lot of the questions that have just been discussed. Um, and from the very beginning, our uh, PAs, our program announcements, have been informed by members of the committee and so on. Um, I'm very sorry that I'll be leaving because this has been an integral part of my life. And, but I know that Dennis is, is going to, we've been working closely together over these several months, and I know he'll do a really wonderful job. He may even be a little more aggressive than I am. Um, at the Institute, and there's been a leadership change there, too. Uh, Dr. Pin no longer reports directly to the director of NIH. She now reports uh, to Dr. Jim Anderson, and he's taken an interest in CFS, and actually he came up to our office, and we had a small meeting just last week. I was really impressed with the Science Day meeting. And as I mentioned to Lenny, it's sort of a preview of our three-day state of knowledge workshop that we sort of sketched out an agenda for that's coming up in, in the spring. And there, I think, you will have in-depth examination of many of the things that came up yesterday. Um, I was also very pleased, and I hope you all realize, that many of the people who spoke, in fact, the majority of them are NIH researchers. And, um, and also to announce that uh, Dr. LaGrice, who gave us the wonderful XMRV update, is going to join the working group at NIH. So we'll have his expertise there as well, along with the other 20 or so institutes that are on there. We hadn't had a cancer representative up until now. So, and I know I, somebody talked to me as I was coming in about networks or collaborative arrangements, and I've mentioned before that we have been trying to set up, we've actually had two meetings in which we've been trying to set up a collaborative network of researchers that will uh, agree on measures and so on. We started with our neuroimmune researchers and then carried that over to Banbury with uh, CFIDS and their researchers. And we were supposed to have another meeting this year, but Dennis is going to get some money for us. I, he's going to ask Dr. Anderson to give us more money because we need money to do this stuff. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to bring this to fruition and set up a wiki and so on so these people can communicate and, and we'll have much better um, collaboration. Because we do, I mean, I wish you would look at the NIH research. We have wonderful research that in depth answers many of these questions that you go through here over and over again and expect an answer from the CDC who uses their population data set. When, when these are examined in depth scientifically with clinical samples and well des des described and so on. In fact, many of the so-called 5,000 publications in the literature are NIH-funded publications, whether or not they say it. <laughs> um, so all I can say is that I'm going to miss you. 
I've enjoyed working with you through thick and thin. I've become friends with many of you, and I'm sure we'll stay in touch. And because it's such an integral part of my life, and because Dr. Pian has asked me to stay on in a consulting cons capacity when I feel better, um, you'll see me again. But you're in good hands with Dennis.